let's get to that next pick. Coming back to Gibson, you know, that's uh, it's really it's talk about it was all good a week ago, J. Mike. Well, there was it wasn't really that great a week ago, but I mean, it wasn't as bad as it is now. Wasn't as bad as him playing punt protector. Roto World really is really trying to fuck this man. Like <laughs> he was, he was running with the the two minute offense on on the third team. He wasn't he wasn't just running with the third team offense, but that wasn't what the headline and the blurb just said. Yeah, and then he's running with the punt team. You know, it's just yeah. like y'all boys, well, and then and, and, and but but. But Revere is on a real hot seat, and he does have a fumbling problem. And I hate to talk about fumbles, but he's doing it. And then you saw him get benched and then come back in with the second team. You know, it was just it's the, the semantics around him. You definitely can't take him this high right here. He's just going to keep falling. And I think I'm down. I'm, I'm still down to take okay. by the dip on Gibson. Where's but you the can't point do it where right everybody want, would be fine with? Let's go around the room. Where, where's everybody taking Gibson? Where, all right, we'll start with you, Jay, since you took him. What, uh, how much further does he have to go down? Is it two rounds? Is it three? Is it one? It's probably two. It's probably two rounds. Jay Mike doesn't know. I, I, that's, that's a, I feel like this is scary. Yeah. <laughs> so, and redraft, so, you know, a redraft, with, I can see just avoiding him. And with and that was the thing. So you've got – and then Montgomery, I'm sorry, was, I know we're talking with Gibson. But they were talking about Montgomery wanting some snaps on special teams too to give a look. Yeah, it's like, I mean, wait, what? I, I know, I know, I know. That's, all, that's, all I don't that's a whole care. different thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm um, still good with Mon- Monty. Like, you know, he's, he's a he's a, a really strong running back and he runs the ball. Like, I mean, I just – I love everything about David Montgomery. I know he's going to come – come to work and do his thing and they don't really i mean I, i'm not that worried about ebner and herbert herbert you know herbert they're fine played, herbert yeah. played well when monty was out he last did. year he did but then when monty came back he finishes rb1 in the last six games of the sure. season you know sure. like and 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 that like carried that team on a shit box offense with a terrible yeah. offensive line Which, with an even more shit box offense coming just, in this year and then showed that he can really handle a strong receiving workload and i just monty's a cheap He's a cheap bell cow back. You know, he yeah, always has sure. been. He never gets respected, and I'm always taking money. Uh, yeah. Give me money over Breeze and ETN, by the way. K- Casey, to your original question, um, I'm, I, I think I am looking at Gibson two rounds later. So this is the – we're looking at running backs. This is the Chase Edmonds, the Rashad Pennies. Um, There's Tony probably Collins. just as many question marks as with Gibson as there is with all those guys. Yeah, Correct. Exactly. But the talent is still there, and that's why, like, in Dynasty – I'm still, I'm still down. I mean, we've been in this draft. Oh my gosh! And we've been passing on him. We've been talking about him for. But two we've rounds. been talking about him for a while, and the blurbs and stuff just keep getting worse. And it's like, well, let's, and but there's a, there's a tier of guys that we have that are still all there. So we're just taking the other guys in that tier and bumping him towards the down towards the bottom of that tier for now. But you know, we can still make a play to move up and get him at any point. And it's almost like. Fuck it. Let's just see how far he keeps fucking falling because yeah, exactly. it's wild. Like, yeah. and whoever does take him, we could still go trade them for him. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. But the talent is is obviously undeniable. He is a, he is a specimen, and he has only played fucking running back for like two years in yeah. the NFL. That's it. He yeah, was like yeah, a wide receiver. Yeah, what did he have? Like seventeen carries in college. He had like thirty five like receptions and thirty four carries, seventy seven touches college. or something like that. Yeah. yeah was, where, where would you take? Uh, where would you take? I'm right there with J. Mike in yeah. that in that think, in that Edmonds Penny Stevenson. I think that was a, a perfect uh, summarization of, of where I, I I agree there. You know, somewhere around in that in that range. But it is interesting to me. Excuse me. With with Gibson, it's like, yeah, there, there's a lot going on there, and and they they of course drafted Brian Robinson and brought McKissick back. We we thought that McKissick was gone. He came back. They drafted Brian, but it's like, it just all seems like. I don't know how much of it is Gibson's fault. There's some injuries. It seems like this is, you know, how much more, like you said, Rivera, maybe slightly a little bit on the hot seat, but I'm I'm not sure. Like it's, it's like, this is what Rivera wants to play a certain style of football. And if he can't, he hasn't necessarily been able to trust Gibson as much as he wants to. I think he tried to, and it didn't quite work out. So now he's making sure he's got a fallback plan. And then, you know, is it really all that different that he came back in and played with the second team and now he's doing whatever he was doing in the Roto World blurb today or whatever it is. And working NBC with the punt edge, team, working with the third the team, team like, offense. Isn't, isn't Ron Rivera that kind of a, an old school kind of guy like, hey man, like you're fucking up. We want you to do more. Just like Traylon Burks playing in the third, fourth quarter. Like Vrabel, same style of guy, same 
kind of mentality of like, hey, man, like you're fucking up. Like, try, try, go, try. go over here, do this, and fucking let's keep check the fucking attitude too. How about that? Like, clean your shit up, and you wouldn't be doing this. Like, I mean, so I get there is something to read into it a little bit, but I, I also think it's the mentality of that that coach and their personality a little bit. But with what exactly with what you said though, Casey, it doesn't have to be Antonio Gibson's fault for him to then still be slighted in all of this in all of the mess, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So so he he had the he 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 worked his butt off even though he had you know he kept playing on the messed up tibia or whatever he had last year yep. or crack crack shin or crack whatever shin, it was some yeah, crazy yeah. right airline play through crash. all that yeah should have sat and he didn't and all that it's like sweet but if if you're like you said. It, it doesn't have to be his fault for him to still get the the raw end here. And for right. and, and if he's and I think I feel like a lot of people have talked about this. So I don't want to just be in this echo chamber. But if we're looking at him being the chief, uh, the, the the chief running back between the 20s, but I'm not looking at him in, in the passing game and I'm not excited about what could possibly be near the goal line in an offense that is already projected to not be very good with Carson Wentz leading it. Yeah. No and disrespect to Carson Wentz, obviously. Yeah. I'm just and saying. the two-minute drill. And, yeah. And, yeah. And, and I just want to harp on it like you just said. We're talking about the Redskins – or excuse me, the Commanders offense. You know what I mean? We're talking about the Commanders offense. So it's like I'm not just clamoring to get a piece of that thing, you know? Like I like Terry. I love Terry. Yeah. And I'm I in like the Dotson and Di- in Dynasty. I like a lot of the pieces. And, but – and and I do I, I I've been a big proponent of Antonio Gibson, but I can't I can't pull the trigger in the fifth round anymore in the redraft or dynasty. Like you gotta yeah. you gotta wait a second and and buy the dip. I'm gonna buy the dip. There's so much he still is only 24. There's so much raw ability and talent there, and, and right. I just I keep with his injuries or some dumb things like fumbling, ball security. Those are those are things that are gonna drive a coach absolutely mad. He did play through some injuries. Probably shouldn't have probably should have sat, but like then the fact that. Not the the fact that he doesn't isn't in the two minute drill and pass catching as much or, or trusted in that regard is is the thing that's definitely wild. a little off because he's me a receiver in this, in this yeah whole thing. exactly he's so, I mean the limit he's a wildly limited upside right. I mean he's not getting those those high so, point scoring opportunities is it, is if you get two or three ball? four points at the end of that second quarter yeah is in it the two minute drill changes scenario or changes scenery that we need for Antonio is that what but basically it's going to take to get a little rebirth here or is it, you know, you think he can just like, and there's nothing to say by week six and like Antonio Gibson has plenty of times on the field where it's awesome. And yeah. you're like, damn, he is, he's, he's 220 pounds. He's electric. He can move. If he gets going, he's out. Like you can't it's really not say him by week, by week six that he's not that dude. Uh, but right now things aren't looking good. So, you know, I, I, I guess, you know, I feel you, you got, you got to drop him down in dynasty, I'm probably a little. You know, I, either way, I'm still. I'd still take him in the in the seventh. I think that's fair. Let's let's keep it moving and and get to uh, another subject. You, you got anything else on on your build there, Jay Wayne? 